Here's another important idea that will help you create engaging courses. Slide layers and layer-like elements like markers, scrolling panels, and lightbox slides can contain anything a slide can. It doesn't matter if it's text, images, characters, video, and audio. Let's take an example, an FAQ interaction. Each FAQ has a corresponding layer. On this slide layer, we have text, character, and a scrolling panel. A scrolling panel is a layer-like element and holds anything a slide can. Within the scrolling panel, we have text, a character, and a caption. If we want to make it even more complicated, we can drop a video inside explaining the process. So a layer or layer-like element can hold anything a slide can. Just a tip to keep in mind as you're thinking through the creation of your course. There is another core concept where Storyline offers conditional interactivity. This is just a decorative way of saying that you can present the learner with certain information if certain conditions are met. Let's say for instance, you want to capture the learner's name and refer it to when they completed the course. Or you want to give the learner in a non-linear course a visual cue of the sections they completed, like, you know, a menu. Here, the learner selects the scene, runs through the slides, and when they're back to the main menu, the name of that particular scene is grayed out. So the conditional interactivity is a big, big, big deal in Storyline and something I'll be discussing in great detail later in the course.